A couple of years ago, all anyone talked about was Bitcoin. It was the wonder investment, shooting up 1500% in one year in 2017 alone, from $1,000 to $15,000, but it wasn't to last. Bitcoin crashed and has been falling ever since. As of February 2019, it is hovering around the $3,500 mark. Let's just say that if you bought into Bitcoin when the media were saying to, you will be significantly poorer now for it. But is this where the story ends for Bitcoin? Or is a comeback on the cards? Let's check it out. Welcome to Money and Jackal, the investment channel that says you and your finances free. I'm Andy, this is Ben, and if you like what we say, hit the like button and click subscribe. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out some of the affiliate links that we've linked to in the description below. We've listed loads of cool stuff that will help you become financially free. Let's get into it. Bitcoin, a quick catch up. Bitcoin is the market leading digital currency or cryptocurrency. A Bitcoin is a 16 digit string of code that can be used as money to buy and sell goods or services. The beauty of Bitcoin is that nobody is in charge of the Bitcoin economy. It is operated on a peer to peer network of computers and new Bitcoins are mined by computers over time. Crypto as an investment. In theory, cryptocurrencies should act just like any other currency such as the US dollar or euro minus the central banks. However, because cryptocurrencies are relatively new, their true value is yet to be established. The exchange rate of Bitcoin has risen massively since it was created in 2009, which has led other investors to join in and ride the wave. Note that almost all people are not buying Bitcoins in order to actually use them as coins. They are using them and treating them like shares, hoping that by buying and holding them that their value will go up. But a Bitcoin is not a share. Shares pay dividends. A Bitcoin does not. Shares have underlying company assets. A Bitcoin does not. Useful or not? In fact, Bitcoin doesn't really do anything that normal money cannot do better. Trading Bitcoin for goods and services often comes with a large fee and a time delay which makes using it for a currency inefficient. And it is extremely volatile which makes it useless as a currency because its value cannot be certain at any given point. What people are investing in is an idea. The faith that at some point in time Bitcoin will become useful as a currency and its exchange rate relative to other currencies will become justified. Security there have been numerous cases of Bitcoins being stolen from their owners. Has its reputation already been damaged too much as a result of this? Security problems make us question its ability to operate as a mainstream currency. Also affecting its reputation are the huge losses that have happened recently. Will this make people want to buy Bitcoin in the future? Bitcoin's competition. Bitcoin is just one of 43 thousand cryptocurrencies that have entered the market since 2009. However, Bitcoin is still the largest with the market cap of the cryptocurrencies of 55%. But there's no doubting that its value is now one sixth what it was at its peak and with all these competitors in the market, can anyone be sure that Bitcoin won't go the way of VHS players when DVDs came out? Experts say that there are other cryptocurrencies operating now in the market which are better prepared and more efficient in acting as currencies with less of a time delay and lower fees. This means that Bitcoin could become obsolete before it even gets off the ground. Ripple for example offers better transaction times and lower fees. Ethereum promotes better safety for exchange of contracts. Litecoin is a quicker and cheaper replica of Bitcoin. But Bitcoin has the strongest brand name which is recognised globally. As of now, it remains the king of crypto. Has Bitcoin had its day? Bitcoin is becoming more prominent in society every day, with some companies, including Microsoft, now accepting it as a form of payment. Also, there is a limited amount of Bitcoins in the world, by design. It is estimated that only 20% of available potential Bitcoins remain unmined. We can expect that when they are all mined, that demand will go up as supply dries up. This can only push prices in one direction, up. So there is still hope for Bitcoin yet, despite it being based on a foundation of hopes and dreams. Will prices go back up? People have been guessing for months as to whether Bitcoin has finally reached a bottom on its price. 
Many experts are saying that it has reached a plateau and prices may start going back up again. We are not so sure as we see no real evidence for its underlying value. In this sense it's similar to gold. You can check out our video on why gold sucks in the link below. That said, like any new technology, those who invested in it before it took off are the ones who will benefit. You can't jump on the wagon once the horse has bolted. Bitcoin and Money and Shackled Watchers of this channel will know that here at Money and Shackled that we invest for cash flow that can pay us an income that will cover our outgoings, that will make us financially free. Bitcoins do not pay a dividend and never will and you can only make money when you sell your investment. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies can supplement a well-rounded portfolio but at the end of the day they are a gamble. They can go up, down or all the way to zero. We therefore encourage you to think about alternative investment strategies that are tried and tested such as property and stock market investing alongside any cryptos that you may hold to better ensure your financial freedom. We've also included a link in the description below to a popular video of ours on how to construct a well-rounded portfolio which gives examples of the kinds of things that we would invest in and the weightings that we would apply. Question of the day, are you investing in Bitcoin and do you still think it has potential? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, on this channel we talk a lot about personal finance, investing and all things money and if you want to see more great content please click the subscribe button below. This is Money Unshackled, see you next time.